Um, why are they looking at each other? Really? You know what, Bart, even though he can be a little bad boy, Wait. he's really sweet for going to all of this for Edna. Dearest Edna, I must leave you. Why? I cannot say. Where? You cannot know. How I will get there? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Hmm. But one thing I can tell you. Anytime I hear the wind blow, it will whisper the name. Edna. Oh. Now this episode made me tear up a little bit. I mean, after the the topic I talked about, I had to avoid copyright reasons. This was really sweet. And who is that? Uh, Gordon? Gordy? Never heard of him. George. Okay, that was weird. Um, I had to check the weather before. Um, I wanted to do another topic about this. Man, it's really hot out today because it's supposed to be 111, I think. So it was a little bit off for temperature-wise. It definitely does get hot here. Um, after watching the episode of The Simpsons, and plus I actually got my favorite episode done and it sucks my glasses broke because I accidentally got some super glue in it. So that's why it seems a little bit blurry. I just had to just talk about why, you know, this basically being unattractive seems... Like you're playing Soul Cobber 2, I definitely re recommend looking it up. See, this is how much um, super glue I had to use on my glasses on extremely hard mode. So, the thing is, after. How much. Like, okay, Dion, how can you say about this episode? And I just uh, I just want to say for the ones that subscribe to my channel, it really means a lot because we actually have reached 54 subscribers because yesterday I had 50. So, I actually gained 4 subscribers in one day if I actually got that correct, which means a lot because I'm not sure who actually did subscribe on what video, even though I did have a subscriber from the Kabuki performance I did at the Olympics, so I decided to say to make a for the, the person that actually just decided to, to subscribe to that. Basically, like like I said um, about the Soul Cover 2 metaphor, I sorry, I didn't explain about this much further, is basically playing on extremely hard mode, and like what Freddy said, you know, I think he deleted his con by accident. Um, like, Dion, how can you actually explain this? I, I apologize if I'm talking about this ugly topic again. I just had to get this off my chest because I noticed that few people actually watch that, which is pretty good for my channel, I think. Um, it is, it's, it's like playing life in extremely hard mode because you basically get rejected. That's because of your appearance. You know, Freddie said that you don't want to be with someone that only wants to be with you because of your appearance, and that is an absolute fact. Because, basically, for me, personally, I could care less about... Um, a boy's appearance. However, though, I know this seems shallow. I care about his height. Honestly, I don't think that should be nothing wrong of that, right? It's, I mean, it's, it's hard to explain. We all have preferences, right? However, for me, I like to be tired over by a boy, of course. I, I could care less about his looks, honestly. I care about his height. Like, he can be really, really attractive, right? However, though, if he's basically shorter than I am, It'll be awkward because I'm really short myself and I just don't like to look down on someone, honestly. Like, okay, if it's like a couple inches, that's nothing. I'll talk about like a foot or so. Okay, there, there would have to be a door for that. But it just be weird, right? Like I used to I'm used to looking up to someone. So it's it's kinda of, it's kinda of as though a very tall man, unless he has a preference for a tall woman, right? He probably won't feel comfortable if you had to look up to a woman, which is understandable because a lot of men they like to prefer dating women shorter than them. Right? I mean, that's basically for most men. Of course, there are men out there that like to date tall women. There's something wrong with that, honestly. However, though, it's just that for me personally, I like to look up to, like, a boy's chest and whatnot. It's, it's, for me, I'm in, on the feminine side, okay? And I just like to feel protected and just him just, like, looking down on me. I don't know. It's kind of hot if he actually does that. I'm not talking about sex-wise. Like, if, if, I can't pronounce that word. If fetish, it's, it's fetishly. Ugh, like, do you know what? You can't pronounce that word, can you? I cannot. Like, you're, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Okay? Honestly, sorry, but I'm trying to be kind to myself. Like, Dion, it's totally okay if you don't know what word that is. Um, it's just basically kind of... Um, being amused by how much the person sticks out. Kind of like if they're basically born with green eyes, or if they're basically born, um, like, 
with a Kadorian twin, or if they basically born with like ver um I I forgot that 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 condition is called when you basically have like white spots on your skin, right? Because I think one of my cousins actually has that condition. It's kind of like that, basically. Like you're kind of like an albino, but you're an albino, so to speak, or that too. So basically, for me, just to make this more simple, I like to date a boy that is not in the ordinary like he's much different than someone else when it comes to appearance like he has to be really really tall that's my preference that's nothing wrong with that i could care less about appearance i just like to look up to a boy it just it just feels normal for me honestly not looking down on someone no unless they're well a kid right for example because i'm an uncle myself like i'm used to that like looking down on kids right you know there'll be like a lot of kids my height Okay, that's that's an example, cause it'd be weird. It's for me personally, my perspective. If I had to date a boy that's like shorter than me, which is extremely rare, it'd be kind of as though you're dating a kid, and that wouldn't be right. I like to date someone that's like really tall. That's because you're short doesn't mean that you're less of a man. Of course, this is my preference because that's how I've been feeling growing up. Because I was always one of the shortest in the group. So I apologize. This sounds so offensive, honestly. I'm just trying to just I'm sure this because basically my experience, honestly, I haven't really been like accepted that much around people and you know sticking out much more differently. And I keep having more damn super glue. Oh my glob! And the thing is about super glue, honestly, just off topic. This stuff really gets hot. This is what I like about this material. Like, really, super glue is that strong, it can burn your skin, kind of. Like, not like literally, but like you'll feel like heat. Honestly, I always wonder about material super glue is made of. I apologize. Damn it, I shut up. Ugh, side pot. I'm getting off topic right now. But, um, I gotta toss this out and get another tube. At least I used it for my glasses. I just hope the Buddha, they won't break. I'm trying to bend them back. Because the thing is, I had to make sure they really, really dry up. Just like how I did with my bottle, you know, it broke, like, a month or two later. I think it was, like, two months later. Um, I just had to make sure these work, because I love these glasses. Whew, at the end, you're doing fine. Okay, they might be a little bit scratched up. Uh, you know, that's going to be a big problem. Sorry about that, I'm getting off topic. But what I'm trying to say for that episode with Miss Kababo, she basically, you know, wants to get back out there. Because of how she was divorced, so I'm surprised she was even married in the first place. And basically, Bart actually pretending to be that football player, I suppose, in order for basically uh, Miss Carbubble to not feel lonely, whatnot. And I don't blame her, which is why I can relate because we all, I'm, sure, I hope we do, um, feel lonely at, at some point in our lifetime. If not, then man, I, I don't know what the hell I like, what species I am. Set, but that I love this album juice. I know it's great volume, but honestly, I had to buy this huge jug. I think it's like two liters worth. It's like a, it's like a whole gallon. I think I didn't measure, but um, the thing is that basically does what Bart wants to do. Does actually help Kabapo living her life much more healthier and happier. And that's what I like about the old Simpsons because it teaches us these more lessons that just because someone may be unattractive or whatnot doesn't mean they're less of a human being. It shouldn't be that way, honestly. And for me personally, I would love to date a boy. Not for sex, okay? There's a difference there. Just like dating him, getting to know him, and maybe holding hands, and just being like... A normal gay couple, not the stereotypical crud like you will see like in pride parades. That, I need to talk about a topic about that. I cannot stand pride parades because not only these men would actually make it much more worse for the gay community because a lot of people tend to think that we're so called pervs and even pedophiles. Being a pedophile is not a sexual rotation, it's a mental illness. If I actually got that right, I gotta do more research on that. I don't know why people tend to think it's a sexual rotation, it, it's not, okay? You basically like a kid, or right? like a child, like a young, young child that isn't hip, hip, puberty. There's a difference, though. Okay, for sexuality, it's like you liking someone's age. No, pardon me. You liking someone's gender and sexual orientation. For me, I'm gay, right? That's my sexuality, which means I like boys. I do. I don't like girls. I don't. But since I'm also asexual. I don't like sex involved, but I'm also a romantic, which means I'm not much of for romance. So I like to date someone like as a like a really close friend and being like intimate with them, but no sex involved and 
kind of like really into romance. Like we're just basically cuddling, we're maybe like playing around and whatnot, but like in a friendship way. That's basically what I want in another boy, you know, to, to, to date with. That's what it's like to be homo era ace for me. So I hope that actually makes sense. But I just had to share this uh, after Freddy actually coming on that because I wanted to upload this. I know I upload a lot of videos in one time, but Honestly, I'm also just doing while I'm, while I'm in a mood because I like talking about this stuff. It just sucks how, basically, in the gay community, we're so obsessed with appearances that, oh, you gotta be masculine, you gotta be a certain height. Um, I know, that seems hypocritical of me. Um, but, oh, that's okay, I mean, it's hard to explain it, it is. Okay, let's just scratch that, honestly, let's just scratch that. Okay, you basically cannot be feminine. You cannot be... Black like me, so to speak. I've seen profiles on gay apps like that. It's disturbing. Okay, you can at least say, oh, I prefer to date a Latino or white man, but I don't mind someone that's black. You have a preference. So this means you're more attracted to that, but you don't mind if you actually go out, go out dating someone like that, if that makes sense, right? So, I hope that make, I hope that does make sense. But, honestly, basically, that that's, that's how gay... Dating apps are, at least from time to time, from my um, experience, and also, basically, um, a lot of those men that want to hook up and, you know, bunny around someone's asshole, of course, and not wanting to get to know them. I mean, if you're into hookups, that's fine, but that's not for me, and that's why we're kind of a little bit more superficial on looks and even dating. Like, one thing that does bother me, and what the heck is wrong with my sink? There's always something wrong with my damn kitchen. Yep. Oh, boy. I'm probably because all that water. Well, we gotta get that fixed. Ugh, no big deal. Anyway, I was wondering, like, what the heck? Because we've been we've been living in this house for, for, for years. Anyway, um, one thing I've noticed also in the gay community is that you gotta have a look-alike to actually date another person. You know that's not true, though. But I noticed for a lot of gay couples, though, what kind of concerns me um, is that you have to be like a clone of, of another boy just for him to date you. Like, for me, personally, I like to just date um, a boy that's like a different ethnicity. I don't like him being black, of course. I'm not full of black, by the way. It's just that, I don't know, he has to be really tall and he does my little fetish, my little yoga fetish, right? I'm into that. But the thing is that basically you will see, like, on YouTube, you see, like, gay couples that look almost exactly the same, and I feel if you don't basically fit in that mode that they actually have together, then you're seen as less lovable, or better yet, um, not important in the gay community because you basically don't have, like, flawless skin, or you basically don't have eyes that are, like, perfectly symmetrical, or you don't have, like, blue eyes, so to speak, or if you basically not, like, a cute Latino boy, I don't know, anything related to that. That's why we're more likely to actually commit suicide, because of how we had to stick up with these expectations. Not only it's hard being gay because of how, well, we had to meet someone online unless we can meet someone through a friend, because, for, well, for straight people, though, if they actually meet someone they like, a person, they can connect easily, but for us though, without risking to get our butts kicked or offending someone, it's much more isolating. And for me personally, I cannot deal with like those dating apps, especially when men like to lie about their <sighs> HIV status. I actually have noticed because there's a couple of men I chatted with on there before that they would say they would be like HIV positive, but next thing you know, they turn into HIV negative and that's not okay, because you literally will get another man affected, and you basically are killing them. Because you basically want to be a bug chaser. That's that's what the term means. Um, that's to actually, you know, have sex and getting someone else infected. That's a huge problem in the gay community that a lot of people don't actually don't understand. And I think that's why it can be so isolating. I do get, I'm going to say this, envious of, of couples um, in public. Like, I cannot stand it. Like... Okay, yeah, they love each other. That is totally fine. I mean, as long as they're, they're not, like, N -n -n -n, you know, making out and, like, you know, like, basically shaming someone that is single, right? I cannot stand those type of couples that thinking that they're superior just because they got someone and that, oh, you gotta love yourself first because, honestly, we got someone and you don't. Too bad. Like, 
you all, I hope you get a divorce and hope you get homeless, honestly, because that's not okay. And that's not the adult way of basically being in a relationship with someone. It's not, it's just not appropriate. So that's why it can be like really hard being gay because you feel more isolated and you basically feel pressure to not hold your boyfriend's hand because the society, at least here in the Western globe, thinks that it's girlish because girls can hold hands but boys can't and that's ridiculous. One thing I do want to share though, I just saw a um, tall older man and he's Scottish. He was wearing a kilt. I was so impressed. Like honestly, I hope the Scots will see that man out in public because honestly, I, I would love to date a Scottish man just because of that. Like he has no shame whatsoever and that's really masculine. Like wearing a, a kilt in public? Okay, like, it's not a trash. Okay, it's hard to explain. It's it's just like this, you know, long clothing that's supposed to be comfortable between your knees. It's basically like a dress for men. Yes. Okay? Like a skirt for men. But it's a kilt. Honestly, that's one thing I'm envious of. Basically, Scots that actually wear, wear something like that. And honestly, I love their culture for that. So, basically, I know I'm being off topic. I'm just trying to say that it can be hard, you know, being, like, left out and never dating someone, and being depressed, and yet you gotta hear people, oh, you gotta love yourself before you can love someone else. That's ridiculous, okay? I hear that many times it gets really old. Like, I'll block someone that, that does come in that, or basically say, you need to see a therapist. Blocked. Or, you need someone to make you happy. Blocked. Honestly, we all need someone. It's like you need a pet, or you need your mother, you know? Like, I'm, t I'm tired of it, okay? You can only be a t independent for so long. It's basically like me not drinking water for so long, and I need it right now. So, I just wanted to share this topic, and the One Piece episode I think should be done uploading um, that I did yesterday. I know I post a lot, but I can't help it. It's all slushy. But, oh yeah, it doesn't taste as good. This is not gonna... Oh well, it's whatever. I just wanted to just get this off my chest because I've been going to a lot, especially since my birthday will be coming up in four months, you know, that's a ways off, but this has an advance. You know, I've just been, like, feeling like I left out, I basically missed out so much. Like, just to, like, connect with other people and having fun to and going out places, give or take, you know, like, like actual places. Not like just a, a mall and whatnot. I don't know. Just doing, like, outdoor activities, I suppose. I don't know. So, I don't blame Kobe for that, but I just wanted to share this, you know, because this has been on mine for a while, and, oh, someone else actually liked my photo on Instagram. Oh, it's the same person twice. They must love what I post, I think, because of the fairy tale t-shirt that I designed. But I just hope that this was actually understandable for y'all to actually understand that being gay can be a struggle when it comes to the dating globe. I should have made this more clearly, but I just like that Simpsons episode because honestly, for Bart to actually pretend to be a football player just to make Miss um, Kabapo happy, right? That means a lot. I wanted someone that would, well, I don't know, that does seem a little bit harsh, but like pretend to be someone they're not just to basically cheer me up, I suppose. That way I feel, like, adequate, like, Dion, you are good enough as a human being, and that, you know, you're not less lovable just because you have a squeaky voice, or maybe your eyes maybe a little bit too big, and your nose being, like, like grainy, it's just whatever it is, and I hate when people keep saying, oh, there are people that have it way worse than you, like, no, we're not playing this comparison game, this isn't the Ender Olympics, no, so, I just want to get this out of my sister because, Honestly, I just had to just talk about mental health, honestly. So, in general, I think, you know, like, Dion, what should this topic be? Being gay in the dating world, um, so to speak. I don't know. I shall explain it better. Because I do want to make a topic about why I don't like pride parades. That would be kind of fun to actually talk about. And even um, stereotypes as well, because I didn't want further into that. I also say that gay dating, though, um... You have to be discreet, right? Uh, depending on where you live, of course. Um, you can't really hold your partner's hand because you won't be seen as masculine for for doing that because you're two men, right? And society thinks, oh, man cannot hold hands. We gotta do like the fist pump and that. No, I don't like that. Okay, it bugs me. One thing I don't like is being called bro, man, or dude. Do not say those any of those three words. They irritate me or pal. I'm not your pal. You're a stranger. 
I don't like that. Honestly, it really creeps me out. So, yeah, that one just seems harsh. I want to be called Han, sweeter, dear, if you actually see me often, or if, or if you talk with me often, or call by my name, so to speak. I just thought to just get this off my chest. I think about going to Walmart, though, just to get myself... Dion, you don't need anything, do you? I do not. Honestly, I'd like to stay here. I don't know. Ugh. This happens to me have autism, honestly, and um, ADHD. Like, I cannot, like... Ugh. Or is it bipolar, I think. Bipolar, because... One thing I want to decide, and then if I'm actually upset with something, I don't want to do anything afterwards. Because I got a buttload of groceries in here. Mostly meat, but I do got my veggies still. And I got my apple juice as fruit. So, and my mom gave me chicken nuggets, so I'm already set for food. Um, I don't know. Honestly. Dion, oh, now I know. I'm supposed to get milk. I forgot to tell my mom that. So I'm being off topic. I still got plenty of fruit in here. My fruit cups, right. Oh, okay, I'm almost out of dessert, but, uh, I'll take it that first tomorrow. I don't know, I'm so sorry, I'm just, I'm thinking right now. I don't want to, I just like to just share, like, how I think every day. Let's see, I got noodles, oh yeah, I need to buy myself a couple packs, I should do that. And, I already got Pringles, so, all I need to get is, like, noodles and, like, damn, what's another thing I gotta get? I got burritos, um... I can't get more meal. That's be it. I don't need much. Oh, I know. I'm gonna get no root beer, but they got that fries. So I'm, I'm, th I'm, I'm just thinking right now. Oh, I had to do all this stuff like a half hour in advance. So if I don't, then I'll forget what I had to do. But yeah, other than that, this is my thoughts on the gay dating globe.